Hey YouTube, it's Guy, and I'm coming at you today with a video that can be summed up in one word. Phenomenal. Now, the pun is absolutely intended, because if you look at the table today, you see a box that says Phenomenado. And Phenomenado is possibly the answer to the question that a lot of us have been asking. And that question is, what is the best NATO strap? Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I think maybe I found it in this company. I say I think maybe because I haven't seen every single NATO strap on the market. Um, I've seen quite a few though, some that I've been very unhappy with and some that I've been relatively pleased with. However, I've never seen one that comes close to the quality that I am finding with these straps. So what we have here is... Again, it's a step above your standard nylon NATO strap. The product is, well, I think the best way to really illustrate it is to just get in here and show you. It is fantastic. Let's take a real close look at the material of the strap and the hardware. Now this is a 22 millimeter navy blue NATO strap with the polished stainless steel hardware. And if you can really just kind of look at that strap material, I mean, wow, is all I can say. It has a weave that it's just super tight, very fine and silky smooth. It is the most comfortable, most elegant, if you could describe a NATO strap as elegant, um, the most phenomenal NATO strap I've ever seen. So, number one, the hardware. The buckle is, uh, is a real nice buckle. It's got the uh, place where the tongue sits notched out, um, which is uncommon, I have found, in your typical NATO straps that you're going to find online. So that seat's in there nice and, you know, squarely. The keepers are... Again, just a step above of the stuff that I've normally seen. It's not that, like, really cheap rolled metal. It's thicker, sturdier. The polishing looks excellent. I mean, it's basically a mirrored finish. And it's got the three uh, the three keepers, and they're, they're all smudged up, so I apologize for that. And then again, it's all about this material that they use on the strap. Now, this is the 22 millimeter navy blue. And you can see that there's almost two textures going on there. In the middle, you have this very, very fine, silky smooth texturing on the material. And then on the ends on both sides, there's a slightly different weave pattern. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe that's for durability to prevent the strap from wearing or unraveling at any point in time. Um, it looks cool, I can tell you that. Uh, the holes are very, very uniformly melted through. There's no extra material or anything, and they're not fraying at any in any way or shape. And then that extra weave comes to an end at the uh, at the tongue or the tail, and, that, and that's smoothed out and uh, melted over and smoothed out very nicely there. So yeah, I mean, again, I'm sure you're not going to be able to tell just based on looking at this video, and I hope you take my word for it. These things are freaking phenomenal. I'm not joking. Now, if you saw a previous review I did on Clockwork Synergy straps, um, and I'm going to show you one in comparison, I still like these straps, and I think that they're a really good choice because there's a significant price difference between what you get from Clockwork and what you get from Phenomenados. Um, before I show you the straps explicitly, let me go ahead and show you the packaging differences if you're interested. Clockwork Synergy straps just come in this box. And then within the box is your strap, which will be in a little plastic pouch. Um, it rattles around in there. Nothing wrong with it, it's fine. It's just, you know, packaging. On the other hand, the, the Phenom NATO comes in a box like so, and when you open it up, it is strapped down to an inner well, if you will. And you pull that out, and uh, you just unbuckle it from the little inner piece of cardboard that it's attached to and uh, yeah that just fits in there like so so I mean the packaging is a step above that said it's not a big deal you know we don't really care that much about packaging 
but I also have the black and gray bond NATO, and I'll give you a quick close-up of that as well. This is the brushed uh, stainless uh, hardware, buckle and keepers. It's very nice also. I personally prefer the polished, but if you like brushed, that's an option. Again, you get that really, really fine, attractive, smooth, silky, soft weave on the material itself. And, uh, you know, just goes all the way down to the excellently executed holes, down to the perfectly rounded and smoothed off tongue or tail. There is also, which I've never seen any other companies do, a little tag sewn in on the underside, Phenomenado, trademark, made in the EU. Um, so, yeah, I've never seen anybody do that sort of thing. Uh, so that's nice, I guess, for them. You know, it's a, it seems like a very professional... Uh, operation that they have going there. It's not just some some guy in his garage, you know, ch uh, sending out straps on uh, <laughs> eBay or whatever. And, you know, it shows. This keeper here does slide around, so uh, actually I kind of like that. It's not just locked into one place. You can sort of adjust it yourself to where it is most comfortable. And, um, yeah, you know, overall, what else can I say about these things? The stitching is, is good quality. Sometimes you'll see straps that uh, aren't stitched. I prefer them that are. They're just, you know, glued together and I'm not getting any sort of focus because there's stuff in the background. So let's move that out of the way and focus in so you can just see the stitching on this guy. All right, there we go. So yeah, you got stitching at the buckle, you got stitching around the keepers uh, as you would expect. Now, again, I prefer NATO straps that feature the stitching as opposed to just being glued or melted together. Uh, but that's just me. And anyway, I'm, I'm happy to see that feature. So yeah, let's take a look at the Phenom NATO versus the Clockwork Synergy. And like I said, I still like the Clockwork Synergy because there's a big price point difference between these two straps. And we'll talk about that briefly in a few minutes. But first, let's kind of compare and contrast them. The hardware on the Phenom or Phenom is, you know, just a step above. You can see it in the buckle. You can see it in the keepers. It's thicker, sturdier. Uh, just nicer material, a nicer buckle, nicer keepers. That said, the keepers and buckle on the Clockwork Synergy don't suck. They're they're fine. They work they, uh, for their intended purposes. They have no issues, but uh, the ones on the Phenomenado are a little bit better. Uh, the stitching, you know, they're both stitched. It's both uh, They're both just fine in that regard, so I'm happy with that. The big difference, though, and let's get in close is the material. Now, if you remember in my Clockwork Synergies review, I had said that the material on the Clockwork straps is much better than the average strap that I was encountering. It's smoother, it's just more comfortable, it's less scratchy. Uh, overall, it's a better material. That said, if you you know look at these up close, like we're doing here, there's a light years of difference between the two in the material. The material in the Phenom is, is just Again, phenomenal, to use that word again. It's much, much, much tighter, much smoother, much silkier and softer. So, yeah, there's a, there's a big difference between these two straps. Now, if you look at the holes, the holes on the Phenomenado are just a little bit cleaner, just a, a little bit more uniformed. Um, not a big deal. Again, the Clockwork Synergy ones work just fine, but... The Phenomenados are, again, just a step above. Now, what's the price difference between these two straps? Well, you can get Clockwork Synergy straps for, they have two levels, the Premium, which is the one that I prefer, because the Premium comes with the stitching around the hardware and keepers, or the Standard. The Standard is just glued or melted together, and I believe that's around $10 or $11. The Premiums are $13, $14, something like that. For my money, I'm getting the premiums when I get the Clockwork Synergy straps every time. I just prefer that. But when we go up to the Phenomenados, we're talking $40. So a $25 difference between this premium uh, Clockwork Synergy strap and the Phenomenado strap. Uh, you know, call it 15 versus 40. Now, since the Phenomenado strap is coming out of Europe, Hungary, Budapest to be exact, you're also going to pay a little bit in shipping. I think it's about $5, so keep that in mind also. Whereas the uh, Clockwork Synergy straps you can get off of Amazon for you know free shipping with Amazon Prime. 
Uh, so that's another small expense. So really we're talking like $45 versus roughly, call it 15, it might be less, I forget. Maybe it's only 12 or 13. Now there's another big difference between these straps, and, and this isn't a, you know, Phenomenato versus a Clockwork Synergy straps. Clockwork Synergy strap that's on the table is just uh, representative of the type of strap that you're going to find, you know, pretty much everywhere on the internet. So th don't think of it as specifically Clockwork Synergies, although again, I like that particular company and brand very much. Um, the Besides the price, the Phenomenato is got a fairly limited catalog. You have the available colors, uh, including gray, navy, blue, black, and black and gray bond. And, and that's basically it. Your hardware choices are polished or brushed stainless steel. Um, so, so that's it. You know, it's kind of like the old uh, Ford Model T car of the early 1900s. You can have it in any, any color you want as long as it's black. You get a few more options than that, but, you know, not many. Whereas the Clockwork Synergies and many, many other brands, you have oodles and oodles of different color choices to choose from. As far as sizes, um, the Phenomenados I saw on their website were in 20 or 22 millimeters. Maybe 18 millimeter is available also. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, sizing on the other straps, you know, they go all the way down to maybe 16, all the way up to... 24 or even higher. So just more options is the point that I'm trying to make. That is one downside of Phenomenado. The options are limited. Number two, the downside obviously is the price. It is a little bit more expensive and I guess really you might call it a lot more expensive. But if you're the type of person that is going to only have one or two NATO straps, I really, really, really recommend you just spend the money and get the Phenomenado straps because they are fantastic. They really are. I'm not joking. And I'll kind of zoom in here and give you another close-up look at that material while I talk about it, if I can get my camera to play nice and focus, which it has not been wanting to do today. Yeah, so there we go. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so so the options are limited for the Phenomenado as far as colors and, and, and sizes and whatnot, and the price is a little bit high, if we're being honest, at $40 plus shipping. Um, the other you know, probably only other negative is since it came from Hungary and I'm in the United States, shipping took a while. It was almost a month, I think. And I want to probably blame some of that on holidays. Um, being that it was January 2nd or 3rd that I placed that order. And yeah, yeah so I'm going to forgive that. I think the website says that you should expect between 5 and 20 days to receive your order. And, you know, that's not horrible. It's not as fast as I'm used to. <laughs> Just Amazon Prime, free two-day shipping, you know. But I understand. They're in Hungary, and you you got to wait. So, but it is a negative, and it's something I wanted to mention. Now, these straps come in two sizes. They have a short and a long size. Uh, they say on the website that if your wrist is six and a half inches or less, you should order the short. And if your wrist is greater than six and a half inches, you should order the long. The short is overall length 29 millimeters and the long's overall length is 33 and a half millimeters. Now I have a seven inch wrist and I ordered the short because I measured some other straps that I have and saw how long they were and... I don't like to have a whole lot of extra tail hanging off of the strap and having to be tucked back through. So, you know, if you're the type of person that likes to have a lot of extra strap that you tuck back, go ahead and order the long, you know, to, if your wrist size is appropriate. But that's what I did as I went with the short, even though my wrist size was a little bit bigger than what they recommend on the website. Now, the reason that I got the two was I wanted for my SKX009 a navy blue strap, and I wanted to see what this guy would look like with a bond strap. This is, of course, the Seiko Sarb 033. So I'm going to go ahead and try that on and uh, just check it out. You know, I don't know. I've never put that on anything. I put it on a leather strap once, but I've never put it on a NATO. So I don't know. I'm curious. It might be... It might be no good, but let's just let's just check it out and see. Uh, I I hope it actually is cool, but you know it's kind of a dressy watch, so maybe it's not uh, maybe it's not ideal. All right, here we go. Actually, that is pretty 
pretty cool. Uh, and, and because this is such a high quality strap, it almost feels like it's not inappropriate to wear this dressy watch on a NATO strap, you know? It's, it's, it's not a very, you know, ut utilitarian or tool type strap. It's, it's got this sheen to it. It's, it's very, it's almost elegant because of how well made it is, you know? It's, it, it doesn't look bad. Uh, let's, let's try it on the wrist here. I'm currently wearing my uh, SKX007 on a Clockwork Synergy strap. Uh, but let's try on this SARB with... Uh, I'll take, the, take that off camera real quick. And we are in business. I don't know. What do you guys think? How does the SARB 033 look? on a NATO strap to you. I, I kind of like it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. It's, uh, a really, really, really comfortable strap. You guys are not gonna regret it if you end up picking one of these straps up. It's, that's about how much extra I have on the, let's see if I can get a better look. My seven inch wrist. And I ordered the small size, which is 29 millimeters long. Is that right? My notes, yeah. Uh, I just have that little bit of extra. So if you have a much bigger wrist than seven inches, you're definitely going to want the long size. But if you're like me and you have a seven inch wrist and you don't like a lot of extra strap dangling over, you know, go with the short. You, 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 I, I don't regret it. I'm happy that that's what I went with. So yeah, you know, that's basically it. These are the Phenom NATO straps. I'll just set this one on my hand here so you can kind of see them both side by side for a moment. They are phenomenal, as the name suggests. Uh, again, price point of $40 plus shipping is a little bit steep, a little high, when you can get so many different options in the $10 to $15 price range. I get that, but trust me, the quality is going to blow your mind. They are amazing. I'm not kidding. I, I'm, when I got these in the mail, I wanted within an hour or two, I was like, I got to get one of these for my X, SKX 007 in solid black. Uh, I was on the website ordering another one within, within probably about an hour or thereabouts. I'm not joking. I was just enamored with these things. They're fantastic. Again, I don't dislike the Clockwork Synergies ones. I think they're nice. And if you're the type of guy that wants to have 10, 20, 30 different NATO straps so that you can have your whole collection on different straps for every day of the week, I get it. You want to save money, and those are definitely good enough. I mean, they're better than good enough. But if you just want to have one strap for each of your watches and you have a small collection, like, you know, you're in the situation that I'm currently in, uh, spend the money, you know? They're fantastic. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely worth it. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to share these uh, NATO straps with you because I thought they were so amazing and tell you to get on that website and go ahead and order some of them. Really, I'm not getting paid or making any sort of commission to promote these. I'm just super excited about how good they are. I'm so happy that I found them. Again, I, when I first heard about NATO straps, the first thing I did was jump on Google and say, what's the best NATO strap? And you get a hundred different opinions and I looked at all of them on their websites, and uh, none of them looked as nice as this one. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's it, Phenom NATO. I think uh, that's about all I got to say about them. So have a great day.